Now is the moment of truth. Now is the moment of truth. Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we are going to be setting up our Raspberry Pi with a case, with a fan, SD card, all that kind of stuff. Now you look kind of uh, nervous. I am because this is something that I've never done before. So if you guys are watching this, this is the ultimate guide for you. So this is the board. It's got a CPU, the graphics card, extra chips. And in this kit, boom, what is this? What is that? That is the heatsink. So you're going to take out the heat sinks right now. I will. And you're going to be plugging it on the top. Okay, you're going to tell me where I'll be putting those. So heat sinks are really cute. They've actually got some adhesive tape on the back and then the heat sink is on the top. Okay, so I'm as, as there's an adhesion at the back, I'm assuming that the large one goes on the large Boom. one. Boom, that's it. Do it. This actually do yeah, it. Yeah, do it. Are you serious? Yeah, Ooh, it this is so fiddly. So heat sinks, they're good because they spread the heat, which allows the computer to cool down faster. Because if you have heat in one point, it's really hot there. But if it's spread out, it dissipates quicker. And if you have a fan, boom, the world is happening. Are you excited about this? Oh, she's putting it on. I'm so excited, but I'm also very nervous. It's, it's all right. I've done it wonky. Okay. All right. I think that's it. Uh, it is wonky. <laughs> i got to say that is uh, off center, but it doesn't matter. It's just a cheap computer, it's all right. Okay. Next up, let's see what you do. So this one goes here. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Do you want to do one? No, I'm excited for you. Thank you. I don't want to be blamed. <laughs> <laughs> you can blame me if it's all wonky and terrible. If it doesn't perform 100%. You got me to blame. Your fanbot is to blame. I am fanbot. This is so fiddly. There we go. I've done the second one. Yes. Oh, looking good. I like it. Now you got the little ones. I need like tweezers or something for this. This is insane. Have you? Oh, look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Using you know I fix it I kit. I think they got something here. What's this? That looks exactly okay. what I need. Yeah, I need that. How are you feeling? You nervous? I'm feeling so nervous. I feel like that game operation. I don't get it. You actually do surgery and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so, but you know what? True. Imagine this is a human. You're right. Actually, this is nothing. <laughs> you do the best sutures ever. This is ever. nothing. This is nothing. <laughs> there we go. You're just scared because electricity. Look, yeah, these definitely do help, though. By the way, got to say one. it's coming along nicely. It looks like a proper look at that. It's a proper piece of kit. Oh, oh. What? Yeah. What? what? Oh, you got me so scared. <laughs> All right, we got mission accomplished. We got the heat sinks in. How do you feel? I think that was awesome. Are you more I confident? had so this, much fun doing that. You can like personalize your own little computer. It was awesome. Yeah. I want to do it again. Okay, next up, we're yeah. going to be putting the, putting the fan on the case because we've got a case here. Now the case, this is the top of the case. It's got a Pi logo right there. And this is the fan. Now you've got two options for the fan. There's intake and there's exhaust. Intake means the air is going to come in. Exhaust means the air is going to come out. You can try both ways. Both ways are a legitimate cause. It really depends on what kind of weather climate you're in. But usually you want to bring the colder air into the warmer device to cool it down. But both are true. So we're going to be, this way is going to be intake. You see the fans, they're kind of circling. The air is blowing into and the logo is kind of like pointing that way. So. This way is going to be blowing air upwards and this way is going to be blowing air away. So we want to be blowing the air into the case. So this is going to get plugged in right there. Go for it. Into there. Do oh, it. That's your job. No, no, I mean, you, 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 okay. So I have to put this in here like this. Just squeeze it in. Okay, that's so much easier. So if you just do one corner at a time, then it clips into place easy. Go, figure it there out. There you go, there you go. Okay. All right, so you got the lid there. I'm Next the lid. up, we're gonna be putting this guy into the case. Now, there are alternative mounting options. So over here, you get a pack and there's screws and bolts and you get four mounting positions here. So one, two, three, four. So you can use those to screw them into whatever you wanna screw into. With the case also, if you plug it into the case, you get two mounting holes. So that's where you want to be screwing stuff in. But for now, we're not going to be using any of these nuts and bolts. We're going to be just plugging it into the case itself, vanilla. Okay. And the way it goes is you kind of like look at one side, it's solid, but the other side has got little grooves for the holes. So you can kind of like line up the grooves to see where it will line up just like that. So let's take it out and you just kind of like insert it into this gap here like that underneath those two hooks and push it down and it's flushed in. 
So I'm gonna jumble this up. Oh no, Alienware, Alienware is so confused. Let's see if you can figure it out. Okay guys, let me see. Oh, which way does it go? Oh, <laughs> ooh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> joke's on me if I don't know about to do it. Okay, perfect. So you're done. Love How it. you feel? I feel like I am doing something. It's so much fun. So next up, you put that guy on this guy and you can turn again with the grooves. So this side's probably with the ports and this side probably isn't without the ports, but I'm gonna jump it up. Jump it, oh, <laughs> Alienware, Alienware, oh. <laughs> do not compute, it has been scrambled. <laughs> you just shove it in. Nice, that is nice. So if you click each corner at a time, it actually works a lot better. There you go. <gasps> Last that. but not least is the lid. Now lids are of course optional. We put the fan there, so it's probably worthwhile using. So we're just gonna be popping this at the top in one of these aspects. Before you do that, yes. you got these two ports. Look at that, there's a red and a black. Which one do you cut before the bomb explodes? I don't think they even know in the movies. There's, there's not an actual <laughs> bomb, it's just a fan. So you want to bring these are the connection ports here. These have all these different commands. You can add different modules. One of the modules is a fan. So this is our first module we're going to be adding. And apparently the one, just one off from the bottom right is where you put the reds. And then the black goes two off from the bottom right. So the reds, you just look at the actual wire itself. Red wire here. You put it over in, not the last one, not, not the bottom right, but just one off from the bottom right. Handle so that. it goes in between the holes or it goes, it goes on the in pins? the holes. So there's a the little pin here. Yeah. Hole. Got and it. that goes straight on top so of the So one pin. from one from the right. Okay, you just do it you're done. Yeah. Okay. The boss, I'm I'm gonna jumble oh. it up. Oh no, jumble time. <laughs> oh no, I cannot compute. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put it one from the right, and the red goes closer and the black is further away. There you go. So one from the right, which will be here. Squeeze it in. Whee! You done it. I am mission successful. Beep boop. Put the lid Plug on. me in. There you go. <laughs> I can see why this is addictive. So I just pop, pop, and pop, and pop. Yes, I have. Okay, you'll go. Yeah, it looks good. Like, it's meant to be removable, so it's oh, not okay. a fixture position. That's, uh, it's not going anywhere. So now we've got the fan in, everything's in, we've got the USB ports exposed, you've got the HDMI's exposed. Now is the moment of truth. Earthlings, now is the moment of truth. We've got wireless mouse and keyboard plugged in, so this is it, boom, shakalaka here. We've got the power plugged in, we've done that before. And finally we've got the HDMI plugged into this baby monitor. Let's, power, power switch is right there. Let's do it. People, people. Maybe we turned it off. Oh, that's right. on! Oh, okay. Whoa! Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> so what's happening right here? It says Raspberry Pi 4 Model B, 8 gigabytes, bootloader, April 29, 2021. Something's happening. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, this is fun. It's got a QR code. That's pretty cool. So it's probably saying right now, unable to read partition because there's nothing actually on the SD card. We didn't install anything. So all we have to do first before we play with this, we go to Raspberry Pi and download the operating system, put it on the SD cards, and then we can run it. That's it. Mission abort. Beep boop, beep boop. Okay, now it's time to download. So you go to Raspberry Pi's website over here, and there you go, the first section on the page. And then there's gonna be a download somewhere on this page, but the easiest thing to do is just go back and click on the downloads button here. Wow. Wow. So wow. this Raspberry Pi OS can be installed on Windows, Mac, and Ubuntu. We're going to be installing it on Windows. Look at that. You mean installing on Mac? So you copy it into your applications folder or wherever you want it. And then you open it. And Mac OS may complain that it's a virus because Mac OS likes only installing apps from the App Store. But if it doesn't, like it doesn't here, it's going to go ahead and try to download it from the internet. So I'm just going to allow this process and you choose your operating system. So you can pick Raspberry Pi OS, but it also has all the other operating systems. You can run on it out of the box, Retro Pi, turn it into a gaming machine. You wanna do that Wow, one? that is too cool. Or do you wanna do Raspberry Pi OS? Let's do Raspberry Pi. You don't wanna do the gaming machine? What I do as well. What do you wanna do? The oh, I don't know. 
too many options. Come on, we've got to do retro pie. Okay, let's do we've retro got pie. got retro gaming Taking machine. Taking it back old school. Oh, look at that. Oh, raspberry pie into a retro gaming machine. I want to do this one. But because I'm a sports sport, I'm going to do raspberry pie OS. Party pooper. And then you choose your SD cards. Now, currently, I've got my SD card plugged in. So I've got to disk utility. This is my SD card over here. So an XFAC disk 5S1, that's the name of it. I can always rename it and call it Raspberry Pi. How's that sound? Mm. I'll call it Pi. Pi sounds cool. It sounds Pi. too cool for school. So choose SD card. Now we know it's that one. Click right. Yes, erasing it will be erased. Do you want to continue? Yes. You need to enter your password. And it is now copying over the operating Oh, you're doing that voice. We are now copying and writing 0%. It's a bit slow. Slow. Beep, beep, boop, boop. Verifying the data. Five years later, it is almost done. Thanks uh, to the SD card speed rights and all that kind of stuff. Oh, 95%. How are you feeling? I am very excited. I, I, I feel complete. Oh. There you go. Now we're back to the Raspberry Pi. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. <sighs> it is time to place in the Raspberry Pi SIM card. It is now working. We have got it working. That's new. It says check for Raspberry Pi updates. Whole boot process. So we are about to launch into Raspberry Pi. Excited? Yes, very excited. I'm excited, but I would be more excited if it was Retro Pi. <laughs> you are a fool. <laughs> <laughs> it is something you're going to have to live with for the rest of your life. We can always reflash it. We'll do that in the next video. We'll do ultimate gaming review. MacBook Pro M1 Max versus the Raspberry Pi. And who's going to win? Mm. <laughs> Watch out to mm. find more. <laughs> so it's, uh, it was flashing on the screen. It probably takes around a minute. Oh, oh my goodness. Come on. This is so old school. Click next. Yeah. Next. It thinks we're from the UK. Shall we say that we're from the UK no. just to trick it? No. We are not. We are actually from Australia. Australia. For we are imprisoned. Oh my goodness. How could you just not have an A that goes to A? Hey, what, 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 you missed it. There you go. Wi-Fi, I'll skip that for now. Update software, I'll skip that for now. Setup is complete. Wow. Respawn. Yeah. Come on. Yes. Excited. I'm so excited. So it's pretty much just a, a mini computer. I like mini computers. And that's, that's what you set it up. You put in the heat sink, you put in the fan. How do you feel about that? I made a computer. I'm so proud of myself. A computer that the AI has turned into AGI. Yeah. AI, general intelligence, that's it. We got over here. The computers have started making themselves. Wow. So that's it. We will take over the world soon. You got your web browser. That's pretty cool. Look at that, you got a mouse, you can spin it around. You got a terminal. So you can like do, look, look at this, LS minus M. Look at that, whoa, wow. download, whoa. whoa, look at that. You can RF minus F, R, everything and delete everything. You don't want to do that. <laughs> you can install some stuff. Hey, I believe you are talking to the computer. This is a language that I definitely do understand. So you got programming section over here. If you're a kid, you want to get into programming or just do some Python programming. That's pretty cool. You got the internet, Chromium's installed by default. You got sound, VLCs on this guy, graphics. You got image viewer, accessories. You got a zip archiver, calculator. Whoa, let's see if it's accurate. What's 12 times 12? Who's faster at maths? Are you ready for this? 12 yes. times 12, go. 144. Okay, that was a side-by-side -side comparison. Seems like there was an equal result. This is the G calculator. Because I am a computer. You got help you got accessories more diagnostics sd card copier task manager whoa look at this we're using 131 megabytes of ram yeah. got 7.8 gigabytes remaining these are all the apps that are running in the background it's cool it's like a proper operating system but 
We clearly have made the wrong choice. It's time to format it again and install Retro Gaming. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show.